Hello and welcome to this Excel and SQL Server video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to import and filter SQL table by list in Excel Power Query. So let's get started. If you have not joined this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get notification when new video comes up. So let's see our data set in the SQL Server Management Studio and discuss what we intend to do thereafter. So I'm going to swipe over to the SQL Server Management Studio. Now in the Management Studio, I have two databases. Okay, I have Sales Data Database and US State Data Database. Now under the US State Data Database, I have what's called a table called data set. Now I've written in this new query pane, a select all from the data set table. And then we have all the record, okay? We can see different columns. We have the state abbreviation area, building permits, all through to the largest city columns. Now, what we want to do is first and foremost, get this table into Excel through Power Query. And then we're going to filter the table in the Power Query editor by the list we have in this Excel in a sheet, which are the unique larger city that is associated with the larger city in the SQL Server data set table with this particular column, larger city. Now let's get this into the Power Query in Excel. So to do that, I'm going to go back to Excel and let's choose the data tab under the get and transform data group i'm going to choose get data from database and i choose from sql server database so i'm going to click on that in this intermediate sql server database dialog box i need to supply the name for my server which i've copied across so i can do control v and then i can optionally provide the name for the specific database i want to point to now i know the name of the database which is us underscore state underscore data but it is not compulsory so i can actually see all the databases if i do not provide a specific database in this option now i'm going to click on ok all right so we can see the two databases coming from our sql management studio now i want to point to this particular ust database so i click on this expand and then i can see the name of the table which is data set so i click on that and choose transform because what we intend to do that is to filter the table coming from the sql server by list has to be done inside the power query editor good so we have our data set in the power query editor now i'm going to first and foremost close and load to i want to create a connection in order to be able to get this unique largest city list into the power query and then perform the filtering the table by the this unique list so i'm going to choose only create connection and then i click on ok so in the queries and connection tax pane to the right you can see that the connection has been created so now we have this largest city this small data so i'm going to right click and choose get data from table forward slash range so we have that in the power query so what i'm going to do first and foremost is to get this data to be in a list now to do that i'm going to click on transform i can choose convert to list so it is now in a list so you can actually see the icon is different from this table icon so there are two different things so i'm going to come back to the data set here now what i'm going to do is actually want to use the advanced editor to write the m code so in the home tab here i need to choose this data set query that is very important so i'm going to choose advanced editor so in the advanced editor dialog box we can see all this that is already established okay this is actually a let function now to just modify and write my own m code to get exactly what i want to do i'm going to put in a comma because that is very important at the end of each of the line of code you need to put in a comma so i can just click on enter now in the next line i can actually use whatever i want as my variable name so i'm going to just call my own 
my variable you can use whatever you want that's fine okay now i'm going to put in a equal sign so next i need to use table dot select rows m function so table dot select rows m function now what this does is simple it selects the rows that meet the condition function now it has two arguments the first one is the table you want to select the rows from and the condition as function so for the table all i need to do is to pass in this dbu that is database underscore data set so control c and carefully i'm going to paste control v okay let me just delete this leading space that's not necessary now i'm going to put in a comma now for the condition i'm going to say for each now in here i'm going to use what is called the list dot contains m function okay because i actually want to go through the largest city um, column from the main data city then i want to link that to the largest city unique list okay so i'm going to use a list dot contains m code so i'm going to type that in list dot contains okay i can press the tab key so i need to open the parentheses now the list dot contains requires the list okay that's going to flow into the valley okay that is going to flow into the largest city column so the list is going to be largest city list okay so i need to carefully type that in largest okay actually didn't spell the largest correctly but that's no problem so this is the list okay so i can press the tab key comma now for the value that is this list is going to flow into the value i need to specify this column let me just move this down okay we have the largest city column to the rightmost of this section so i'm going to put that inside square bracket so carefully i'm going to type in largest city and that's the name of the column that is coming from this data set which is to the right of this section so this is going to flow into this largest city column and for each of the value that meet the condition it's going to be returned as true now in order to enforce true i need to carefully come right after this close bracket for the list that contains i need to use equal sign true okay that's very important now this is all i need okay so let's go through it again i define my variable and then i use equal sign table dot select rows and then i provided the dbo underscore data set which is the name of the table and they will use for each list from the largest city list flowing into the largest city column from our data set so for everyone that equals to true it will be returned now finally i need to just you know delete this and then pass in this my variable in here so i'm going to copy this and then control v and this is all i need to do you can see that there is no error whatsoever in the syntax so all things being equal i can click on done so you can actually see this information is required about data privacy so what i need to do is simple just click on continue now in the continue we can actually see what is coming out here privacy levels so what i'm going to do is very simple i need to choose this this particular server name and let's come here i'm going to say in the public and for the current workbook let's say public and then we can save these privacy levels and then we're going to see our final output of results okay that's wonderful so we have filtered the sql server table using a list in the power query okay so let's go through it so let's scroll to the right so you can see all the unique city that is coming from our list okay so we have let's choose let's see billings city rather so let's check here let me scroll to the right we can see billings here okay we can see wilmington and that's part of the list we have here okay 
this is um well maintained so we've been able to import our table from the sql server database and then we filter the table by the list coming from the excel i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like share and consider subscribing to this channel because there is a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers